Welcome to you all. Thanks for being with us on the latest edition of ESPN FC Daily. Big news for Morocco, becoming the first African nation to make it to the semi-finals of a World Cup. And we will have all the reaction to their fantastic achievement, that win over Portugal in the quarterfinals. But sadly, we do have to start on a low note because we're all still reeling from the news in the soccer world that Grant Wall passed away yesterday. A statement was put out by US Soccer last night. This confirmed the news for many as well. And it has been such a shock for so many of us. He was a prominent American journalist. He was known in the soccer community and way beyond by so many of us. Here's what USA Soccer had to say. The entire US Soccer family is heartbroken to learn that we have lost Grant Wall. Fans of soccer and journalism of the highest quality knew we could always count on Grant to deliver insightful and entertaining stories about our game and its major protagonists, teams, players, coaches, and the many personalities that make soccer unlike any sport. Here in the United States, Grant's passion for soccer and commitment to elevating its profile across our sporting landscape played a major role in helping to drive interest in and respect for our beautiful game. As important, Grant's belief in the power of the game to advance human rights was and will remain an inspiration to all. Grant made soccer his life's work and we are devastated that he and his brilliant writing will no longer be with us. US Soccer sends its sincerest condolences to Grant's wife, Dr. Celine Gounder, and all of his family members, friends and colleagues in the media. And we thank Grant for his tremendous dedication to and impact on our game in the United States. His writing and the stories he told will live on. Now, this is just the side, the soccer side of things, because Grant was also a very talented basketball writer, too. And one of Sports Illustrated's most iconic covers was the chosen one, the LeBron James cover. That was a feature by Grant Wall two decades ago, speaking about this up and coming basketballer, LeBron James. And so yesterday, ESPN's Dave McManaman also did ask LeBron about Grant's passing. Well, first of all, my condolences goes out to uh, his family. Um, I saw his, uh, Sorry. you know, I, absolutely. I've seen his brother um, say something as well. Um, um, you know, until we get you know, further um, you know, details on what transpired. But um, very fond of, of Grant and, uh, you know, having that, um, that cover shoot, you know, me being a teenager and him covering that, it was, um, it was a pretty cool thing. And he was always um, pretty cool to be around. He spent a lot of time in my hometown of Akron, um, covering me over the course of time before that, that, that shoot came out and, um, or before that cover story came out. And I've always um, kind of watched from a distance, you know, even when I, you know, moved up in the ranks and became a professional and, you know, he kind of, went to a different sport and, and things of that nature over the years. Uh, anytime his name will come up, I'll always think, think back to me as a teenager and having Grant, um, you know, in our building um, down at St. V. So um, it's a tragic loss. It's an it's a, it's a unfortunate, um, uh, you know, to lose someone as great as he was, um, you know. And uh, I wish his family, like I said, uh, the best. And um, you know, may, may he rest in paradise. So all of us in the soccer broadcasting and journalistic side of the of the game here, especially in the United States, knew Grant Wall. And in fact, I think I speak on behalf of so many people in the media who can quite easily open their phones, open their Twitter DMs, open their Twitter timeline and find messages of support and generosity from Grant. He was always supporting his peers, his colleagues, and particularly young and upcoming sports journalists and sports broadcasters. And I know for you, Luis, he played a huge part in your career and your journey. Yeah, well said, Kay. Um, I'm going to be honest with everybody. I, I don't know how well this is going to come out from me. Uh, apologies in advance. Uh, like you said, you only have to open social media, read an article, listen to a podcast, watch a video see all the messages from the moment the tragic news happened to see how much he impacted people, not just sports writers, but just anybody that really cared about the game or storytelling. But to me, he was, he was a really good friend. Um, I wouldn't be here at ESPN. 
I wouldn't be a sports journalist. I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for him. He was my mentor, a really good friend, and one of the most impactful people I've ever met. You know, it's funny that Morocco won today because he represents that. He was the champion of the underdog. I joined Sports Illustrated shortly after leaving The Guardian. I, you know, I was an actor for many years. I didn't know anything about the industry. And uh, I just worked, you know, I hustled and I made it to Sports Illustrated. And my job was very clear just to, you know, help out with Spanish content. But I wanted to be more, do more. But I didn't know how, right? I entered this world, this, this incredible staple of American sporting history. And I just wanted to find my place. And Grant became my shining light. And there was a show, Planet Football TV. And obviously it was Grant's staple. And but the first thing he did, he went up to the bosses and he said, after just months after meeting me and connecting with me, he said, I want him to be my co-host. And he came up to me and he said, Luis Miguel, I believe in you. Let's do it together. And that began everything. It's, this isn't about me. This is about a person that didn't just write about sports, didn't just report about the truth. He cared about people. It doesn't matter if you were a 20 year old veteran or a 20 year plus veteran or, or an intern, he cared about you. And you said it, Kay, you know, like all you have to do is open Twitter and just see all the messages from LeBron to Tyler Adams to young journalists who like were impacted by his books and his storytelling. But every time you met him, he made you feel special. I had lunch with him a few months ago and we talked about Celine and his family, his brother, his dogs, Coco and Zizu. Talked about our future, our past and where we can go. And he was so excited about everything he's done with this amazing, amazing content on Stubstack and, 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 you know, obviously the freelance work. And, and I was so happy for him and he was happy for me. He didn't, at that point I hadn't joined yet uh, ESPN, but like I, when I joined, he was the first person to message me and we talked. And I don't know, maybe I should have done more as a friend in the few years, but like, I got to tell you something, losing him, everybody knows what he was in terms of soccer, sporting history in America. But to me, he was my shining light. And I know that he's looking from above saying, shut up, Luis Miguel, let's talk about Morocco. <laughs> and, and I'm going to, and I'm going to stick around, but I have to tell you, Kay, that I've lost my parents really young, Kay, you know that. And death has been a part of me all my life. But this, this, is, this is hitting me. It's hitting me because we're, we didn't just lose a talent. We lost an incredible human being. And if there's a lesson to learn from all of this is this. Be kind. Be generous. Be empathetic. Care about one another. In this day and age where clicks and and tweets and I'm, I'm guilty of it too. And, and arguing back and forth with people you'll never know, just, you know, put out your hand and meet a stranger because that stranger might change your life. I wish all his family, my deepest condolences, but I got to tell you, learn from his life. Let's remember that because that's how we'll remember that memory, make it a treasure because what he did as a human being and as a writer, will be the memory that will last forever. I love you, Grant, and I know that you're watching from above. Thanks so much for sharing your, your stories and your memories of Grant Lewis. I know this has been difficult for you. And we do send our condolences out to all those who loved Grant, to his friends, to his family too, and of course, to his wife, Celine. 